Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Today I have two exciting new quads. Um, these are the Mobula 7, which is a 2S uh, brushed, brushless um, Tiny Whoop, and then I also have a 2S brushless Tiny Whoop called the Trash Can from Machine. Uh, these are probably the two hottest small um, quads that are out there now, uh, especially being wintertime where you're flying indoors. Um, I've had um, I only have about 10 flights on each uh, so far, but I wanted to give you my uh, insights on it right from the start there uh, in case you get one of these. Uh, if you get the, um, well, the Mobula 7, uh, the problem with that is the frame breaks up. Uh, I have not had it broke it. I did hit it once or twice pretty good, but um, the frame held together pretty good for me. Um, the uh, trash can, the frame is a lot heavier, uh, that's the main difference on these two are the weights in the motors. In the camera and the VTX there's quite a few things going different. Uh, the Mobula weighs, um, the dry weight of it is um, 27 and a half grams versus 34.2 grams of the trash can, so that's 6.7 grams heavier. Uh, to counterbalance that extra weight, the uh, trash can has taller motors, uh, higher stators on it. They're um, three millimeters high versus two meter high on the um, uh, Mobula 7. Um, and um, with the batteries, they also give you a little bit bigger batteries on the trash can. These are 300 milliamp hours versus the 250 on the Mobula 7. Uh, the other problems that I found with the Mobula 7, uh, the first thing I noticed was I had a motor fall off on the second flight. Uh, they did not tighten down these motor screws on the bottom very good. I lost, uh, four of them came out and two of them were loose. So the first thing you want to do is uh, tighten these down. I probably, this is one of the first production ones out. I bought it from the Ishin store in China. So I was able to get it uh, maybe a week or so quicker than some of the people with Banggood and uh, Gearbest and some of those other um, main store, quad stores over in China. Um, so the first thing to do would be to tighten the screws down. Second thing that uh, people have noticed is the battery slides out. I just took a rubber band and I twisted it around the batteries and that holds it real good. The other thing you could do is uh, get a TPU um, 3D printed uh, piece in like the mobile I have and put that in and that keeps it from sliding also. Um, let's see, the uh, other problem I did have is my bat one of my battery puffed up on the trash can. You squeeze it, it, it has some puff to it. I've only, this was on the second charge, uh, made that puff for the second run. Um, the bigger motors, I think, are more demanding on the batteries and it will destroy your batteries quicker, although uh, the other ones are fine and all the other batteries I've run out of are fine, but I have only have uh, about 10 flights. Um, the other thing that I did was I ran both of these around the same track and I'm going to show you the video of that right now. The Mobula 7 is on the left and the trash can is on the right. Um, as you can see the items going by, uh, the trash can is getting further ahead. It ends up being ahead by a second or two at the end. Um, and uh, this was done on two different days. The trash can was flowing on a windier day, so I think it would have been about three seconds ahead or about a second a lap, uh, which is about a, uh, about three, four percent quicker. So it's not a lot quicker, but it's a little bit. Uh, where you really notice the difference is if you do a punch test, the trash can will definitely go faster. To sum it up, the Mobula 7 is about 7 grams lighter. It has a little bit longer run time, uh, but it is a little bit slower than the trash can. The trash can also has a better camera with it, and the VTX is a stronger being uh, 200 milliwatts versus 100 milliwatts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below and thanks for watching.